All right, so this is gonna be the run review of the Skytech H100 high-speed racing boat. Not exactly sure if it's an actual racing boat. It is pretty quick though. Controls on this one are pretty basic. You have your trim buttons on top and basically that's gonna power your motor, the left stick, and this is gonna turn it for you. And this is a little bit different from your standard RC boat controller. It's more like a quadcopter controller. That's one of the things that drew me to this. So you need to have this in the water for the motor to spin, but if there is water left over inside, it will still spin, so just be aware of that. And this one will self-level. If you kind of just play around with the sticks, it'll flip itself back over if it flips over. So enough talking, let's take this one for a run. And you do get a, like an LVC warning on this, which I think is really cool. <laughs> Seem to get decent range on this one too. It is a little bit on the loud side. And it may have benefited me to have gotten like a more standard controller for this one. Because I'm thinking this thing turns like a quad and it really does not. So that's kind of interesting. But as you can see, it's fairly choppy on the lake today, and this seems to be handling it pretty well. And even if it doesn't, it does have the self-leveling feature. I would imagine we'll be able to demonstrate that. It does turn pretty well. There we go, we flipped, and see, it self-levels itself. So it is cool. Let's do it more so this way because having a little bit of trouble seeing that probably into the sun. Uh-oh. There we go. We're back on level. I gotta say, this one's a lot of fun. It only comes in at about 30 bucks, so you kind of can't go wrong with this one especially with the self-leveling feature. Just barely almost hit myself there. Is that seagull trying to get me? What's going on? And we're gonna self-level. Or self-writing, I guess not. I guess it's not leveling, it's writing. I don't 100% have the controls down on this one, but it is fairly intuitive and fairly easy to run. Some of my turns seem to be quicker than others. Not sure if that has something to do with the waves or what's going on with that. But this one comes in around 30 bucks. And I picked this one up on gearbest.com, so it's a pretty good deal, I think. You get a decent run time. Charging time in this one's just over two hours with the included charger. So a little bit long on that, but not too, too bad. I am liking the uh, self-leveling feature. And I like hitting these waves too. This lake is really fun. It's nice and shallow out for a while. This is Oneida Lake here in central New York state. And this boat, you know, it can, it can take a little bit of waves. Probably would definitely perform better on a calm morning or in a stream or pond or something like that. But it's handling these waves okay and it catches some air. It makes it pretty fun. So 
So I really definitely don't think this is a bad purchase. And if you're familiar with quadcopters, this controller will be familiar to you, have a familiar feel in your hands, but you almost expect it to perform like a quad, and it really doesn't. So that might not necessarily be a good thing. But it's fairly, the controls of this are fairly simple. Seems to have decent range, haven't really tested the range on it. And it does have a feature where the controller will start beeping when the battery's getting low. So if you're not in a shallow lake like I am here, and you don't want to get wet, that's definitely a nice feature for these boats. Also the self-writing. And there we go, it's starting to beep. So let's keep running for a few minutes and just see how it does. Definitely loses a lot of power once it gets in this low battery warning. But this one is a lot of fun. I think that's gonna be pretty close to the end of our battery here. And it does pick up quite a bit of water in the hull. But you just kind of dump that out and you're good to go. Slowing down big time here. Slow, slow, slow. Definitely doesn't corner so well when the battery's low. So I think that's gonna be it for this one. We'll shut our battery off here. It gives you a little bit of a, you know, a little TX symbol here and it gives you indication of what the battery battery level is. And also you can switch this to mode two. Well, I guess if you're talking in terms of quadcopters, it's default to mode two, but you can kind of switch it to mode one. There is a sequence for doing that. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. I wouldn't pay too much attention to it. I figured I'd just run it like this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this run video. And you do get a lot of water in the body here. So that gives you a little look inside there. You get wet in there, but it does have like a self-cooling feature cools the motor the water comes in the, the back here and then down through the tubing and out here but obviously there's some left over in there definitely would we'll let this dry out again before you charge it